On our corn planter, we installed a variable rate seed drive, uh, which proved to be very handy for setting your seeding rates. Uh, so what we did was install um, a variable rate seed drive on our bean planter. I think it will be valuable in testing different varieties at different populations. Um, in our 30 inch row production on this bean planter, we will be dropping our seeding rate significantly. And I wanna do a few passes in the field um, at different rates so it's nice to have the ability to just uh, do a rate bump from the cab on the computer so what I did was I got an old battery box put all my modules in there and it's not that they're not waterproof I just don't like to have them uh, on direct uh, if we're power washing directly onto the modules so I've got my cables coming out here I ran I hooked it up to the seed monitoring sensor so the seed monitor will be um, computerized in the cab and then I got this used uh, John Deere variable rate drive motor and PWM valve right here which um, you can get a harness uh, from Ag Leader that just plugs right into it. And I bought this bracket from John Deere from a 2010 model planner. But uh, I guess they still make the, the frame size a 7x7 seven seven, so it bolts right on. And uh, have a nice little variable rate uh, drive kit here with the Dickey John rate sensor. So this will, this will sense how fast the drive shaft's spinning. And uh, through a couple of calibration calculations, uh, we can increase and decrease um, hydraulically on the fly or just um, a standard rate from the cab. So that I think is pretty important when you're trying to figure out uh, how good these uh, soybean varieties respond to different populations.